everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be making this Art Deco inspired scallop. Um, I'm going to do clear and white iridescent glass. How pretty is that? Got some iridescent water glass. Here's some iridescent clear moss. And then I've got this iridescent white. So let's trace our pattern. <laughs> So when you're cutting inner curves, especially when the piece is small, it's really difficult to do a curve in one score. So you start on one side, do a little score, go to the other side and do another score. And then you can get, and then you can get this middle piece. Okay, everything has been cut out. Now I just need to go and grind every piece. But that is kind of boring to watch, so... Everything fits really well together now. So I have to foil next. Now before I foil my pieces, I always clean them off with alcohol. That gets all of the oil paint marker off and just it gets any greasy residue that would prevent the foil from sticking. I want to do a black patina on this piece because I really want this iridescent glass to stand out. So I'll be using black backed foil and I'm going to use a mixture of 7.30 seconds and 3 sixteenths. Um, especially <clears throat> for these thin pieces, I'll use the 3 sixteenths foil because I don't want to cover too much of it. And I also like thinner solder lines, especially when we have all these uh, points converging right here. If this foil's too thick, it's just gonna, just gonna be like a big, big blob right here.
so I just finished cleaning the piece with CJ's flex remover and then I just went over it with a magic eraser. So now I'm going to make sure this is nice and dry before I steel wool all of the solder lines. And then it's time for some patina. So after you apply the patina, you can either rinse it off in water, just blot off the excess patina, or you can clean it with quick clean patina remover or patina cleaner. So this time I'm going to use the quick clean. Okay, and then I let this dry for a good few hours, three to four hours, and then I'll wax. All right, so it's been a few hours. Um, the patina has dried nicely. So I'm going to take my mother's cleaner wax. I love how when you put the wax on, it already starts to show you how nice and dark the patina is. And since this is a cleaner wax, it has a slight abrasiveness to it. So I like to rub it very gently along the solder seams. Um, if I rub too hard, I could probably rub the patina off. If you just do lightly, it helps buff it up to a nice shine. And then that needs to dry. Okay, now the final step is taking a microfiber cloth and just buffing off all of that wax. Thank you. 